so many different flavours that you can add to panna cotta and pastry chef extraordinaire. Natasha is here to show us a delicious way to add coffee to panna cotta. Yes, mm. it's one of my favourite desserts because mm -hmm. it's so easy to make. Yep. And coffee is just so yummy. So it's like it having is. a latte basically in the dessert form. Fantastic. I like the sound <laughs> of that. So we'll start yes. just by getting some brown sugar mm -hmm. and of course coffee in a pan. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, can I get you, Justine, just to soak that gelatin in two tablespoons of water? Water? Okay, it doesn't have to be warm water. No. Or just... Yep. Yep. So you're just going to let it soak while we make the panna cotta and that sure. will be ready when the cream's ready. So panna cotta is one of those things that you really want to make sure that it's not too wobbly yeah. but not too creamy either. It has to be that perfect balance. So they are very easy but following the recipe accurately is a must for it, isn't it? That's always a must with baking though as well. But this panna cotta is made a little bit easier by the fact that we've just got them in glasses so you don't have to worry about tipping it out at the end. It's true. Yep. And I can imagine after putting them in a martini glass like this, they're going to look fabulous. Beautiful. So I'm just dipping into the second tub and we're using a nice heavy cream for mm -hmm. this because you really want it to be beautiful and rich mm. and creamy. Mm -hmm. So we've got one and a half cups all together. So I'll just do the last one. Now, you've got a fantastic blog called Butter Baking. Do you bake with a lot of butter? I do. <laughs> I do. Well, I'm of course, it's an integral part of pastry baking. cooking, isn't it? All of those whole sugar and butter yeah. and wholesome ingredients like that, they're delicious. So what are we doing now? Are we bringing this to the boil? Or? Just under the boil. Just under the boil. So okay. we're just mixing it while it's on the heat just to incorporate the cream with that um, sugar and coffee. Mm -hmm. So if you can see, it's that beautiful kind of latte mm. colour. So you can see that's almost incorporated. Mm -hmm. And we just want to bring it to just under the boil. You can kind of see bubbles appearing around the edges and you know that it's there. And that's when we'll add in that gelatin that, see what that's already soaked up all the water. It has, hasn't it? So this cream is at temperature now, so that can go straight in, Justine. Okay. So we'll just take it off the heat. Yes. And that's important because you don't want to break down your gelatin. You want it to work for you. Okay. Beautiful, so we'll just stir that. And we'll just get it into the glasses. Justine, do you okay. think you could do that for me? I can indeed. So we've got some beautiful martini glasses here. And a jug. This is a good trick so we don't get any mess anywhere. Popping that into the jug. Like so while that. you're doing that, I'll just get onto a couple of caramels that we're making. Yes. So we're going to be making a coffee caramel sauce to go over the top of the... Um, panna cotta and a coffee and hazelnut praline as well. So wow. that'll be nice and crunchy. So both of the caramels start with 100 grams of sugar and 50 mils of water. Justin, can I just get you to pass me that sugar and that water yes. over in the corner? Thank you. Thank you. So we'll just pour them in and turn that on. And you just want to bring it to the boil and let it bubble until it turns a beautiful golden amber colour. All right, well, while we wait for that caramel to start turning colour, I guess we can put these in the fridge and just allow them to set. Sounds good. Great. So we're just making the caramels now to go on top and mm -hmm. they've really come to colour. So, Justine, I'll just get you to put some hazelnuts on the tray. Sure thing. You can pour that over. And that's going to make a praline. And I'll just make a quick coffee caramel sauce over here. Just added coffee into our caramel. Just whisk it until there's no lumps. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pour all of this over. A rich caramel. I love it because it's going to be a, a little bit bitter because it's slightly darker. Yeah, beautiful. So we'll just let this cool. And Justine, we can let that set. And then mm -hmm. we'll come back and decorate the panna cotta. Fantastic. Finally, the moment I've been <laughs> waiting for. Our panna cottas have been set. Look at them, aren't they gorgeous? You know what this reminds me of? Those coffee martinis. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so what are we doing with our beautiful brittle here? So we're just going to blitz that up to make a praline. Okay. So if you just want to break it up into smaller pieces mm -hmm. and throw it in there with a pinch of sea salt. Mm -hmm. And I will decorate these two with our coffee caramel. Beautiful. So this one's nice and... Runny and beautiful. Yum. Yum. The whole place smell smells it. amazing. You smell toffee. You can even smell the little hazelnuts because after that toffee, the caramel would hit it. It brings out all this, nice the and oils of the hazelnuts. Beautiful. beautiful. And that coffee smell as well. When we threw the coffee into that hot caramel, it just smells beautiful. 
So we'll blitz that up. Beautiful. Look at that. I love this. It's just so crunchy. So on ice cream, we're talking about ice cream. Even this yeah. on ice cream is just delicious. So we could just put a few spoons on top yep, of each I'll one. hold that for you. Beautiful. Wow. Espresso martini. In dessert form. In dessert form. <laughs> Yum, I can't wait to try. Yeah, well, lucky you made two of those <laughs> because I'm not sharing I'm this not one. I'm not sharing either. Okay, dig in. Look at that, it looks so luscious. Natasha, that is an amazing dessert. It's like, whoa, <laughs> coffee and caramel. I love this dessert. I love that you can make it ahead of time. Sit in the fridge, forget about them until you're ready to serve them. Sensational, thank you. Thank you.